Hey guys, today we're going to have a look at how to get started with Instalod for Unity. To install Instalod, all you have to do is grab your Instalod folder and drag it into your Projects Assets folder. With that done, you can simply navigate to the window and open up Instalod and the Instalod Toolkit. Now I've got both of those tabs docked on the right hand side. Now if we start off by selecting a mesh, we can see on the right hand side here that we have all of the great features that we know from Instalod Studio Excel right here available to us as well. Now we're going to have a look at these features in more detail in another video. For now I'm going to start off by simply diving into the Instalod tab. Now what I'm going to do here is actually create some LODs. Before we can do that, we have to create an LOD group component first. So I'm going to simply click Add LOD Group Component. There we go. And now we can see we're confronted with a few settings. Now first of all, it mentions that we have LOD1 and LOD2 missing. So what we're going to do is simply add those group entries. So we're going to click that button, Add LOD1. We can see now Instead is building that LOD. And we're going to do the same for LOD2. Again, just a few seconds later, we're already done. Now that's as easy as it gets. If we go ahead and quickly have a look and uh, view the wireframe, so we can now see that when we zoom in and out, the individual meshes get swapped out automatically. Now, if we wanted to change the individual settings of an LOD, that's really easy to do. So what I'm going to do is jump into my LOD2 and let's say that instead of having 25% of the original mesh for this specific LOD, I want to go down to just 20%. So with that typed in, I can simply rebuild LOD2 and we can see a few seconds later that is already done. So now we can look at the model and everything looks really nice. Now, what are we going to do if we wanted to create a third LOD? Well, that's really easy as well. So what we're going to do here is go onto the original group of the mesh, go into the inspector, and I'm going to select the LOD group component. So inside of here, we've got all of our different LODs, in this case, 0, 1, and 2. But what I want to do is add a third LOD. So what I'll do is right click on the cold version and insert before. And there we go, here we have LOD 3. So I'm going to move that over to 15%. So this is where our mesh will get swapped out. And if we go into install, we can now see it updates and it tells us that LOD 3 is missing. So what we're going to do is then again, create missing LOD group entry, click LOD 3. And there we go, a few seconds later, that's already set up. But what if for LOD3, we don't want to have our mesh optimized down to 10%, but I actually want to do a complete reconstruction of this mesh. Well, that's quite easy to do. So here I'm going to jump into the mesh operations and here I can change it from optimize to remesh. Now we're going to have a look at remeshing in more detail in another video, but for now I'm going to keep the settings on the default and then scroll down to the bottom and click rebuild LOD. And there we go. Just a few seconds later, we've got a reconstructed mesh. We can see that that also looks fantastic. And if we check out the LODs, we can see here we have LOD 0, LOD 1, LOD 2. And if we just rotate around, there we go, we can also see LOD 3. They all get swapped out, fully automated, and everything just works. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one.